five, Corinne Landauer. Corinne is a woman who is very passionate about giving back. She has either founded or is part of several nonprofits to help those less fortunate than herself. She and her husband Tom both give back to the community, and as a mother of three, Corinne also makes sure that she participates in her children's activities. Corinne's journey to Hatfield began in 2003 when she followed her brother here from New York, having been born in Harlem and raised in Queens. Corinne is an elected constable of Montgomery County and is serving her second term. She's the first black woman to hold this position and is one of only two black constables for the county. In this job, Corinne is responsible for carrying out orders from a judge and may include delivering eviction notices, levies on properties, prisoner transport, as well as civil service duties for attorneys like delivering warrants or subpoenas. Seeing the rate of evictions go up during and after the pandemic, Corinne saw a need where tenants could use some protection legally to stay in their homes. Recognizing that need, she is currently in the process of working with the magisterial judge and with state legislators to come up with the Landlord-Tenant Bill of Rights. Also, recognizing a need for youth to have a place to go or activities to participate in when not in school, Corinne founded the Marion Lawrence Foundation named after her grandmother. The foundation has programs that try to develop excellence in young people. Most of the programs revolve around music as Corinne's grandmother was a former opera singer. Corinne has organized the youth around the Quakertown area into a musical ensemble and the group will come together to perform praise and worship music or someone in the group calls it protest music at various community events. Corinne is also the assistant director of the Montgomery County chapter of the Democratic Black Caucus, which was founded two years ago. The mission of the Black Caucus is to find, cultivate, and train black candidates for office, as well as to identify and engage black voters. One project that this group worked on was securing Juneteenth as a federal holiday. Another organization that Corinne is part of is the HOPE Alliance. HOPE stands for Helping Organizations Promote Equity and is a for-profit and religious organization for black members of Montgomery County. Using strength in numbers, Hope Alliance raises awareness and furthers the mission of each organization under its umbrella, as well as helps with fundraising and various community events. These organizations include the Cheltenham, NAACP, the Black Caucus, as well as many others. One notable event that the Alliance held was a dinner to honor notable black figures in history, which included a Tuskegee Airman, the great-great-grandson of Frederick Douglass, and the oldest black survivor of the Battle of the Bulge. Another way that Corinne helps the youth in our community is through an event called Chat and Chew, where she helps bring in speakers for the high school for a career day type event. The speakers represent several under-discussed fields and the conversations with the students over lunch center on what these jobs entail and how to enter that field. Many years ago, Corinne became a DJ at a club in Tennessee and after doing some karaoke. She found she had a knack for DJing and she now performs the duties at various events and fundraisers that she's part of. So with all the many hats that Corinne wears as she supports her community and her causes, the one I would say she's most proud of is that of mother to her three children, two of whom are still in elementary school. She has served as homeroom mom for her son Michael at Culp Elementary and one event that she spearheaded was a second grade graduation for his class. This was post the worst of the pandemic as she felt the um, students needed a little celebration since graduation from second grade isn't something that we normally do. So the kids all enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Corinne says she likes living in Hatfield because of its sense of community, the size, which is just right, not too big or too small, our schools, and the Moose family on our Villa Road. <laughs> Hatfield. <laughs> Thank you to Commissioner uh, Deb Zimmerman and the Hatfield Board of Commissioners for this esteemed honor. Gentlemen, congratulations. You too work with a phenomenal woman. <laughs> <laughs> I start 
started my day today in, um, in urgent care. My daughter has pneumonia, so we'll be leaving early. <laughs> um, and tomorrow I bury my dad. Oh. I tell you this uh, for two reasons. One, I really didn't get to write a speech. <laughs> um, and two, is I want you to remember the next time anyone even implies, and I'm sure that wouldn't be anyone in this room, but the next time anyone even implies that a woman can't do anything, I want you to tell them that Corinne said, you, we, women can do anything we want to do. I thank you to my wonderful husband, Tom Landauer. You are not only a rock within this community, but a solid rock of my life, and I thank you and I love you. To my children, Alex, Ava, and Michael, thank you for being amazing human beings. And to the ladies that I have the esteemed pleasure of sharing this honor with this evening, thank you for your dedication to a stronger and a better Hatfield for all. Have a wonderful night.